the worst forest disaster in U.S. history. Hurricane Katrina destroyed millions and millions of trees, increasing climate change, global warming. When Hurricane Katrina slammed into the Gulf Coast two years ago, the storm devastated at least 320 million trees. And now the United States is suffering the worst forest catastrophe in its history. Using satellite images, scientists have found that more than 5 million acres of trees were destroyed across Mississippi and Alabama and Louisiana. Experts said it would take decades for the plant life to recover and some areas may be permanently damaged. An area of the state of Maine was affected and that's a huge area. More than 10 times the size, for example, of what was affected by the California wildfires. So this is or was a very huge event contributing to global warming, climate change. But of even more concern is that these fallen trees or forests will have soon released as much carbon dioxide back into the air, 367 million tons of it, as all the rest of U.S. forests absorb in an entire year. Trees capture carbon dioxide, which they turn into oxygen and use to create wood and leaves. As this fallen lumber starts to decay, they release these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere or into the air, which in turn causes more climate change or global warming. It's the feedback loop. It is an irony that the change we may see as the climate warms with increased storms of this magnitude could be accelerating the source of the emissions that create the change. So, the change could be accelerating itself. A forestry expert for Conservation International said, Deforestation already accounts for nearly one in every five tons of carbon dioxide that humanity worldwide puts into the atmosphere. It's increasing rapidly. And Katrina's wake has now added to this deforestation. Such huge hurricanes become more likely, say many scientists, as global warming, climate change accelerates due to increasing greenhouse gas emissions. Scientists and researchers call this phenomenon a feedback loop. The warmer it gets, the more likely the huge storms kill more forests, which would release even more greenhouse gases. A major source of greenhouse gases that are contributing to global warming climate change is actually the loss of forests worldwide. And this is only increasing. More signs of end times, last days, and there are many of them. Yes, and more change is coming.